Hi everyone, this is a follow-up video to my last video and uh, about the six piston extender. Uh, if you haven't seen that video yet, I recommend you go watch that one first. But uh, what I've done here is I've completed the rest of the cannon um, and I've also made some substantial modifications to the circuitry for the pistons as well. This top part here is pretty much identical to Packrat's uh, cannon design and really the modifications I've made are at the bottom here. I've improved the circuitry underneath and I'll show you that later. I wanted to make it cleaner um, and, and a nicer look. I added blocks in front of all of the pistons so that the actual interior of the cannon is just a com complete ring except for the firing point there. But I went blabber on. Uh, let's see this thing fire. You'll notice that I, the pistons actually go uh, a lot smoother than in my previous video. Um, it's still not in unison, but a lot closer than it was. Um, and I've also set it up on a button so it, they will extend out and retract back straight away. So this is it with all of the wiring showing. And the main difference between this version and the last video was that I've improved the circuitry quite a lot. Uh, you notice it's a lot more compact, at least in the side to side direction. It does go deeper underground. Um, doesn't bother me usually too much to build downwards. There's usually plenty of room. Um, the new version of the circuitry um, doesn't actually extend anywhere past the size of the cannon by itself. So I wanted to make sure it would all fit underneath the cannon without any extra rooms on the sides here. Um, what I did was I built this part of the circuitry first, which is basically all of the timings and signals that would control a single row of six pistons. And then I just split, I just sent that, those signals up and split them off so that they go to all four sets of these pistons. Now the reason you'll see that these and these don't go exactly the same time is because as this signal comes up, it splits off, um, it goes one tick, two ticks to there, but it also goes one tick, two ticks, three ticks to that one. So there's a slight delay in these edge ones. Um, but as I said, it's way more synchronous than the last one, which was kind of a mess to watch, even though it looked pretty cool. Uh, this one certainly is an improvement. There's a little bit of extra um, uh, circuitry needed as well because of these blocks I placed on the end. Um, you just got to pull back an extra block basically, but um, I didn't mind putting that in. I think it, it really is just aesthetic. Let's do a test fire, shall we, and see if we can find the uh, TNT afterwards. See if it actually, uh, see how far it goes, hopefully. So let's give this a try. Well, I didn't see it, um, but let's set fly speed to 10 and see if we can find it. There it is, right there. Let's see what we got. We've got a Z of 400. All right, I'll go back and we'll see how far that was. All right, we're back and oh, that's too fast. Let's see what our Z was. Negative 700. Wow, wow, that's 1100 blocks. I. <laughs> I am actually, I am actually very surprised. 1,100 blocks. Something I have noticed is, you might have seen when I flew off to find the crater, that we actually saw the TNT explode when we got close enough. Um, and I guess that's because this is firing so far that the TNT is flying out of 
the loaded chunks. Um, and, and when an entity leaves a, chunk, a loaded chunk, uh, it, it just gets stored. So when we fly back in range and that chunk gets loaded, the TNT comes back and finishes its explosion. So I find that quite funny that uh, we, we can actually fire a TNT so far uh, and then pretty much wait as long as we want, as long as that chunk stays unloaded. You can go back there and, and watch it explode. So that's it. Um, once again, I'll put a download for a schematic for this in the description if anyone's interested in taking a look and having a play with it themselves. Um, and if anyone needs a world download, if they don't know how to use the schematics or anything, let me know and I'll put one of those up as well. Um, but for now, let's just uh, give it one more fire just because it's fun. That's all. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.